Hello, welcome back to the channel. I picked up a solar watch fast charger LED light on Amazon and I wanted to find out is there a solution for keeping all of my solar power watches fully charged and ready to go rain or shine and is there a safer more effective alternative to just leaving your watch out in the sunlight in order to keep your light powered watches running optimally and at the same time maintaining accurate timekeeping throughout your collection. Stick around as I get this one open up and we find out if this is a device that you should be adding to your collection. Let's get started. As we get our fast charger unboxed, we do have some different sized silicone caps, which should give you a nice snug scratch free interface between the watch and the charger. We do have a USB-C to USB-A cable. I don't know if you feel the same way as I do, but it has to be USB-C on all of my electronics now. And if I buy something new and it has a micro USB or any other type port, I feel like it's not as advanced as it should be. Do notice we have a very nice silicone base pad on the bottom of this hockey puck style LED light, giving you a nice slip free footing on the desktop and pretty simple stuff. We switch out the silicone cap to match the proper dial configuration and diameter. And it does look like we have some protective film on the lens. Let's pull that off real quick. Rounding up the unboxing, we do have a small little pamphlet folded quick start guide. And that is everything that's in the box. There is no charging, charging. There's no power brick that is included. So you're gonna have to plug in your USB-A port into a power source. USB-C, of course, goes into the LED light. Let's plug it in. Let's power this thing on. Wow, that is bright. I can probably charge the watch from over here. All right, let's go ahead and charge up a watch. And you're looking at the reason that I purchased the charger. This is the Casio GAB2100, and it is Bluetooth enabled, which means that it'll be going through some battery life as you pair it with your smartphone or your smart device. So how bright is this light's output? Well, there are two settings. There's high, which is 40,000 lux, and there's the lower setting, which is 20,000 plus lux. And how that compares to daylight is direct sunlight is about 32,000 to 100,000 lux. Of course, that all depends on proximity and weather conditions. Ambient daylight can be 10,000 to 25,000 lux. Overcast daylight can be as low as 1,000 lux, just depends. As we charge up our Casio, I'm already lining up my awesome GW5610 and with that squared off signature G-Shock face, you can see the window is going to let that light in perfectly. And I can't tell you how long in between wearing watches that I'm always worried about the battery on my rechargeable watches and this could definitely be a game changer for me. All right, let's check on our Casio. It's been sitting on this charger about 10 minutes and let's see where we're at. The heat is moderate. It's definitely not overbearing to the touch. And yes, we are at the high setting on our mode hand. You can see the H there. And I'm gonna sync this to the app and see what the app says about how our level is on the battery. Let's connect to our app and let's see what our setting is. And yes, we are at full charge. And wow, that was only 10 minutes and definitely unscientific. I don't know how far along the battery was or how accurate the app is, but it's getting a full reading on our Casio. So very cool. All right, we've got some of my favorite all time solar powered watches on the desk now, and they're all waiting their turn to get topped off with this very cool 22 LED quick charger. I just noticed I've got a lot of Casios in the collection and the Tough Solar is just a feature that I adore from Casio. Even have my grandfather's Citizen. This is an EcoDrive Solar Tech watch. This is a watch that he loved and was just thrilled by the EcoDrive. He got this probably in the 90s, just a few years before he passed away. And you can see how he left it in the sun trying to keep it charged. Another good reason to have this quick charger is you're not going to overheat your watch, potentially damaging the dial. But anyway, it's just cool to see my grandfather's watch. You can see it's skipping a couple of beats right now because it is in power save mode. So we're definitely going to get this one up and running and um, have great memories of my grandfather. So love this timepiece and uh, miss him dearly. But that's the beauty of watches. We pass them on to the next generation and um, hopefully we'll all be remembered down the road. So keep those watches ticking, my friends. 
And check out this very cool, very cool charger. I failed to mention that the power light has an indicator setting. In the high mode, we are in blue. And when we go down to the lower mode, we get a green power button. It does have an auto shut off after eight hours, so you're not gonna overheat or damage anything. And just a great way to keep our watches in tune, especially those sentimental ones that are priceless and mean the world to me like this one does. For what I paid, this thing is a no brainer and highly recommend it. I paid like 15 bucks. I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. I think the, the function is so cool. And for the price point, it's going to be hard for me not to pick up a few more of these from my collection. That's what I got, folks. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Please tune in for more content. Until the next one, I'll see you next time. Love that square. Man, G-Shock is the best, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is.